Hi everyone, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video where we are going to be setting up my Aura Estelle B6 Cloud Planner. It's in the color Snow Angel with silver hardware and it is just a stunning crisp white color and I absolutely love it. I always try to go for more of a neutral planner um, just in case I want to switch up themes or change kind of the setup within it. I just think white will go with so many different options. So the setup we're doing today I was inspired by like cotton candy I guess you could say I wanted to do a lot of pinks and purples and blue and just keep it really soft really feminine and really pretty so I'm really excited with how this turned out I'm just showing you here some of the goodies that I wanted to pull in. Of course, not all of this like made its way into the setup overall, but just wanted to give you kind of a look at what the theme was going to be and how everything was going to tie together. So if you have any questions about any of these items, please let me know in the comments down below. Some of these items are a little bit older, but some are new, so you can still grab them or pick them up. But if you have any questions, definitely leave them down below and of course I'm always happy to get back to you on them. So just quickly, um, we can touch base on what the functionality of this planner is. Um, of course, I'm going to be using my Aura Estelle A5 Wide Cloud Planner as my memory keeping planner. And that's something you guys will see on my channel every week when I do my weekly plan with me videos. But this B6 planner is actually one that I'm planning on keeping just for me. And it's gonna be a little bit more geared towards my thoughts and feelings and opinions on things and just things that I really don't want to put on the internet in general. So this will probably be one of the only times that you guys get to see this planner, unfortunately, because she is so beautiful. But yeah, I think this planner is really just going to be for me. So I will be filming a 2021 planner lineup video and I will get into you know the functionality of all the different planners that I'm using in 2021 and I'll get a little bit more in depth on how I'm using this planner and potentially show you maybe a mock spread because I know I have gotten uh, questions on what a B6 cloud layout would be or how I would use it so I will show you guys potentially a mock spread um, but just so you know this won't be a planner that I'm showing every week unfortunately Unfortunately. So I've got the pockets like pretty filled up here. I do like to have kind of a lot going on in the pockets. I just think when you first open up your planner, it's nice to see a lot of color and a lot of pretty things. It just makes me want to come back and use it more and more. So it's more just an aesthetic thing. None of that really will be functional. Potentially the sticky notes might be functional, but it's more just kind of for the look of it and it makes me happy. As I mentioned, this is really only the second planner I've ever set up in my life. So I don't know, you guys definitely leave me some tips down below. You know, do you have any tips and tricks for setting these up? I definitely see this as something that will evolve over time. I added what I could for now and what, you know, really spoke to me in the moment, but I do see this as something that, you know, could potentially evolve as, you know, new items are released or as I, you know, actually find things in my collection. I do anticipate that I will probably you know add take away adjust because I think that's one of the best things about having a ring planner is you can be so flexible and you can change things around based on your mood you're really not committed to it like a coil planner so I am really excited to see you know how my creativity evolves and how this planner changes from you know the setup that I'm filming today to you know maybe where it'll be at the beginning of 2022. So setting up the dashboards was definitely the hardest part for me. I was so indecisive on where I wanted the die cuts to go, like which dashboard I wanted them on. Honestly, like I probably went back and forth a million times and I've edited so much out of this video because I think the setup in total 
took me almost an hour if not like an hour and 20 minutes so <laughs> you can see like I was crazy indecisive here but I just really wanted this to be something that I was happy with overall and I don't mind like I enjoy doing things like this and spending time with my planners so you know what an hour and a half well spent I think so I use this Fiskars paper trimmer quite a bit in this video and honestly like this isn't the paper trimmer that I normally use like for inserts and things I have a proper like guillotine type paper trimmer but for this like you know kind of a quick and easy project it was so easy to pull this out and my blade was a little bit dull on it but overall it still worked really well um, even with the cardstock paper it you know worked perfectly fine so I was really happy with that. I did include a few of these like Lux inspired elements. So I have that vellum there from Sparkly Paper Co and Hollow and it's so beautiful. And then also the two paper clips. Those are from Pigtails and Pockets and I love them so much. They are the absolute perfect color for this like cotton candy fantasy setup we've got going on and I just I honestly think they are probably my favorite elements in this entire setup. I also really like what I did here with this dashboard setup. I used this journaling card here from Scribble Prince Co. And it was a part of her Accio Pink bundle, which had like a Harry Potter vibe to it, but very pink. And I loved this fashion girl. I just thought she was so beautiful and cute. And layered on top of this like pink and white checkerboard pattern, I just love the setup so much. I used those like hollow hearts uh, acetate on top of it as well as this uh, Lux inspired vellum which had like pinks and purples and blues and oh, just love it so much. For these dashboards that I got from Rose Color Days, I don't really know what I want to include in them yet. For now, I just threw in some stickers, uh, some seals, some die cuts, but I think eventually I'd love to include maybe pictures of my fiance and I, or maybe my dog or my family, something kind of personal to me. For now, I just included these things, but eventually I do think I will add in more of a personal touch and you know some of the things that really inspire me, like with my family and my friends, etc. So here's a final walkthrough so you can see kind of the finished spread and how it all looks. I think everything turned out really, really cute. I think it's simple but still functional and I cannot wait to plan my first week in here. I know elements of this are going to change over time and I'm perfectly okay with that. In fact, I think that's like a huge benefit of having a rings planner, but I'm just super excited for the starting point here and I think it's a really good base to build off of. So let me know down below what you guys think of this setup and if you have any of those tips or tricks for me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I always appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.